Yeah, it's time to pick up my camera. I Hookers, they're the best. Apparently, allegedly. Alrighty, y'all, it's time to pick up my camera, and I can't believe it. We're currently at Best Buy at the Tesla Marketplace. And I just realized they're also projecting like snowflakes, but fuck you. Um, but yeah, I'm currently here. I'm gonna go pick it up. And I'm nervous, I'm excited. Like, I don't know, it's a really big purchase, but it's also an investment. So let's go pick it up. Alrighty, so I just picked it up. I didn't want to film in there because like the very front was like the store pickup and I just felt a little weird, but secured. So here it is. It's got all its glory. It's very, for how much I, oh, for how much I paid for this, she was a little, um, she's a little small. Oh my gosh, like I can't believe like oh my gosh. She really like I kinda wanna do like a prop I'm gonna I'ma take a sneak peek. Okay, I took a sneak peek. Alrighty y'all, here is my official overview and unboxing of my new camera. I purchased a ZV1 um Mark II and y'all I love it it's so good i already started filming with it and it is amazing i did a ton of research going into it you know this is a really big investment so i really wanted to make sure that you know i got the right camera for me and what i was looking for and after looking at i just seen's um review for this camera i instantly fell in love with it and i went to go to best buy to even try it out beforehand and i absolutely loved it and of course i got it in white it just looks so clean and sleek i really love it i also think it's different because a lot of vloggers typically they have a black camera which again is very you know it's very good you know um if it happens to get dirty you're not really able to tell with the black camera but i just love the sleek and clean look of a white one one of the biggest features that I really wanted in my next camera was a flip out screen, which you can see here. Um, I'm able to see myself, and my old camera, I wasn't able to see myself. Um, it was very difficult. So having a flip out screen is going to be fantastic. I'm able to make sure, you know, that I ISO is okay and everything is good to go. Also, this um, camera came with a battery pack. Only one, though. So I already pre-ordered some on Amazon so that, you know, if I'm out and about, I'm able to bring more camera um, batteries so that I'm able to take you all along with my adventures. Along with the battery packs, if you don't know me, I'm a little bit clumsy at times. So I did buy a productive case to go over the camera. And again, of course, I got it in white to match. And yeah, again, I just wanted to make sure everything was safe, you know, if I happen to drop it or like I bump into something, you know, it's not getting a bump or like a scratch and, you know, so I just want to make sure on that. And then on top of to go with, you know, again, the whole safety idea, I did also purchase screen protectors because again, I wanted to make sure I wasn't cracking anything, especially with the display screen. So I did purchase it and I did put it off camera. But I wanted to, uh, what also came with this, um, screen protector, like, pack was a wristlet, which is great, because I was looking for that. Um, so I put this on, but y'all, you wouldn't believe me how long it took me to put it on. It literally took me 20 minutes to put it on. Like, you would think it would be simple, but it was so difficult to put it on. Like, I literally said, give me, give me a minute, because I thought if you do it in a minute was not the case because it just took too long okay i quickly want to pop in and just kind of explain about my old camera versus the new one um so yeah so my old one that i used to film on this is the a sony a6000 and it was a great camera um there was like a couple things that i just found inconvenient just for like how i like vlog and film videos um, so yeah, so this is the Sony A6000 and I had a 16 to 50 um, millimeter lens and yeah, 
my brother, it's not mine, it's my brother's. Probably happy that he gets it back. But yeah, it, it, it was honestly a really good camera. I think that one of the biggest things that I, personally for me, had trouble like filming was the, what is this called? Like the display. That's how much it extended. I don't know if you can see, but like that, that, it, I couldn't see myself. So a lot of the time, a lot of my friends will even say, like, I'll even like do it with my friends too, is I'll pull up my phone, pull up my camera on here, make sure I'm like, like in frame to see, you know? Um, and with this one, I'm able to see in frame because it's a flip out screen. So that's like one of the biggest things that I found trouble with this because again, didn't know if I was in frame. If I wanted to look at myself, I can't, uh, like I couldn't, like it was very difficult. And, and then again, also with this one, um, it goes along with that, I couldn't see myself. I couldn't, there's like times where the quality of the video wasn't very really good. Um, so I couldn't see that and I'm not able to like change it. So again, a lot of the, like, some of my videos, you can, you can see like the difference between like, like the lighting and like the I, uh, ISO, still learning the terminology, but yeah. And then also, okay, wait, another thing that is probably like, I could have, I could have easily done something about it, but like carrying like a big strap, I didn't really like, and now carrying, I have like a wrist strap and it's way better. Um, yeah. And again, um, I didn't mention this, but this is not actually like a vlogging type camera. It's more for photography. Um, I used to, uh, I took pictures of my friends, I think using this camera and pictures came out great. Um, but video wise, it was kind of difficult to film. Again, I'll probably film maybe like a graduation, but vlogging wise and vlog myself, like wasn't really helpful. So yeah, I love my old camera, but I just want to show you all <laughs> New camera alert. Oh my goodness. I'm filming with a new camera and it feels so nice to like, see myself like I got I need to like stop looking at it because I need to look at y'all but yeah anyways I'm getting lunch with a friend and I wanted to get a little something because something exciting happened a lot in her life so I was like I want to get you a little something so I got her a little bunt cake so I'm gonna put this in actually it's called the bag I'm like this is the bag hopefully that'll fit in there uh, maybe I don't do a bad thing, but I just got a little small one. Look how cute. They also have a peppermint one, which I'm like, I gotta go back and try because it supposedly ends this month, so I gotta go try it. Cute. And then, um, I'm giving her, this is not part of it, but since I'm like seeing her, I'm like, I'll just give it to you now because I don't want it. I'm giving her, <laughs> if y'all know my flashcards. These are not really organized. Great. Okay, she's gonna have to figure it out. Oh, wait, maybe. Maybe I did. Okay. Um, if y'all know, I was like, like, flashcards were literally my best friend in this semester. So, um, I'm giving her my flashcards because she's taking the class that I took. And I was like, I'll just give it to you because, like, you might want them or need them. So I'm gonna put that there, put the little cake, and then some tissue paper. Um, I went to Marshall's this morning with my mom, and like a lot of stuff was like 50% off. So you know what I got? I got tissue paper for 50% off. So that's what you're seeing now. Um, okay, anyways, I gotta go drive over because I'm kind of running late now. Alrighty y'all, so I just got done with lunch with Brenda. Um, I didn't show y'all just cause like, we hadn't seen each other in a while and we're like, we just wanted to talk, so yeah. But she got me a little, um, like a little like trinket, um, from Mexico, so it's so nice. So yeah, I don't have a name for her yet, so we're gonna come up with a name. I don't know yet, we'll see, I have to. I, I want it to be like unique and like, I don't know. We're, we'll find a name out. Um, but yes, I just got done with lunch with her. I just drove over to um, Dick's Sporting Goods, which, uh, which um, I'm coming here because uh, I need workout shoes. This is so bad. But I work out with Vans, and I know horrible, probably choice. 
because I don't really run with them per se, but like I do like I'll do my cardio in it, I guess. And that's really bad. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna splurge on myself today. And I think I'm gonna get hocus. So we're gonna go see. I'm gonna go try them on. Well, I'm having a dilemma. I don't know what to, which one looks better. These are the Bondi's. These are like clubs and nines. Like, I don't know. They both feel comfortable too. I feel like this is like a cream versus like this is like a pure white. But like, I like this is slimmer versus this one. They kind of look like Crocs. Why do they look like Crocs? Why does it kind of look like Crocs? They kind of match with Crocs. But that's that's funny. But the brand name, the brand name is Boggs. Croc and Boggs. Okay, I'm gonna go check out. Okay, wait. Before I go and leave, I want to sh quickly show y'all what I got at Dick's Sporting Goods. So again, I got the Hoka's. Everyone been raving about them, and honestly, I understand that like hype. Um, I wasn't. I'm not really too like big on like brands, but I. So I don't know. I don't want to put this premise out there, but I really want to start running. And if you know me, like really know me, I don't like running. <laughs> like I can dance for like an hour straight but like running i can't do an hour straight so i'm gonna try to do that for my new year's resolution so hookahs they're the best apparently allegedly so we're gonna try them out i mean in the store they're pretty they look pretty good um so yeah and then i got the bondi 8 so here's how they look isn't she gorgeous not oh, white I am like you like y'all already saw my camera like a girl loves a white so yeah even my mom she was like are you sure about white and I was like girl girl if you know me you know me like a girl a girl loves her white stuff like I am a white shoe girl I, I own everything in white I think like like I always say like I never have a favorite color, I don't have a favorite color, but I guess like it's sub subliminally sub subsequent sub uh subliminally like my under like my conscious like I feel like my favorite color is um white. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go drive home and just get it settled home. Probably watch a movie, cuddle up. It's kinda cold outside, so I Alrighty y'all, that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I also hope you liked that intro. Uh, I thought new year, new intro, you know, so yeah. Anyways, I will see y'all in the next one.